Hi and welcome back to the last part of the building a to do app using Vue.js and Django 3 as the backend. In this part of the series I will show you how to deploy the Vue.js application. I said previous that I will be using PM2 but after some research I found that I don't need this. So for the Vue.js application I will just be using Nginx. So I logged into the server here and I can go to the web apps view and go folder to create the place for the view app. Okay there. Vango view. And this is where I want to place it. Here I have located the Vango view on my computer. But before I move it to the server, I need to make some changes. I've opened the project in Visual Studio Code and inside the home.view top here, I want to create a constant API URL. HTTP api.viewango.com like that and then I can copy this and remove here like that there's only three instances of that then I can save it then I can go back to the command line and go into the Vuango folder, run npm run build. This will generate a dist folder which will contain the production code I want to move to the server. So there is the dist folder. You can use git for this or whatever you want, but I want to just use scp to copy them to the server. Dist root it. This is just IP for my server. Web apps, Django, Django view, dist. And now it's located here. Perfect. So now I have everything I need on the server, but I need to create a vhost for Nginx. etc. Nginx sites available. Vi view and go view dot conf listen to port eighty server name or domain is view and go dot com root for this project is web apps view and go view and go view test index is index.html location I just want to make it possible to go to sub pages as well try files URI slash index.html It's enabled and I make a sim link to that file. So it's available view and go view. View and go dot view dot conf. Service and Genx restart. That seems to be running. So now I can go to the browser to test it. View and go dot com. Yes, here it's running and it's getting the data from the API. You can check in inspector just to be sure. No, network. Yeah, it's getting data from api.viewango.com. Perfect. Gango.com submit. Yes. It's perfect. And that was it for this video. I hope you liked it and that you learned a little bit more about the deployment of a Vue.js app. If you liked this video, please click like below and I would really appreciate it if you shared it on social media. See you next time.